Oh gosh, you can't say that. But he always does. Oh, Sam's having a go now. I tell you what, you do not need facts when you've got moxie. Is now a good time? Sure, yeah. I'll catch the cash cow on catch up. So, how are you both going? Oh, well, it's actually... That's great. So, first things first, welcome to the gig. Uh, you're doing a great job. Only natural that there'd be a few wobbles in the beginning. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Everyone Lisa, so... please, let me finish talking to Michael. What, I've been here 10 years. Really? You seem very green. So, uh, let's have a look at your ratings. Yeah, oh, they're really good, guys. See, you're coming last by even less than you used to. Well done, Dean. But you've hit what I like to call the beige ceiling. It's boring, it's predictable. We want fireworks, conflict. The next time the AFP raid these offices, I want the biggest scoop they find to be Michael's secret emails to his ex, Virginia. Scandal! Well, hang on. Also, I don't want us to see this as some kind of performance review. I'd rather we think of this as marriage counselling. But we're not married. Guys, 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 all TV is relationships. And all co-hosts are couples. People want to know how their favourite couples are getting along. You mean metaphorically? Yes. But more accurately, no. Your marriage is the most important one at the ABC. It's, it's bigger than Tony Jones and Sarah Ferguson, bigger than B1 and B2, you know, since the plebiscite. I don't think they're gay. Oh, Michael. All bananas are gay. Bottom line, we need to take the news out of news breakfast. So what? Breakfast. And that is a great idea. I know an excellent pancake restaurant. Gosh, man, sea biscuit. Yeah, it's parlour time. I'll see you guys at the Logies. Oh, goshy, you can't say that. <laughs>